Good morning guys. Today's vlog is so exciting. Like I literally can't wait. Um, I'm in a bit of a hurry so don't mind the, the rush right now but today is my first ever bridal appointment. I'm going to try on wedding dresses which is obviously very exciting but I'm also super nervous for it. I feel like it's just gonna be like today is the day that it's gonna hit me that I'm going to be a bride. Like I know I've done a little bit of wedding planning already and like we've booked our venue and like the photographer and videographer and stuff. But I feel like all of that is so, like it's all just done over email and like, I don't know, you don't really see anything in person yet. So I feel like the moment that I try on my first wedding dress will be the moment that I, like it hits me that I'm getting married next year and that I'm going to be a bride. So I'm very excited for today, but just very nervous because I just, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I've got six bridal appointments booked at different places might be a little bit over the top but I am a very indecisive person and I need to explore all my options before I can say yes to a dress so my issue is I will find a dress that I like but I won't be prepared to say yes to it until I've explored every other option there is possible that's just how my brain works so I've booked in six appointments, not all today, oh my god, that would be a big day. I've got six appointments over the next, like, two or three weeks. Um, and yeah, today is just the first one. So, super excited. I don't obviously have my hopes up that I'm going to find the dress today. Like, I'm not going into it with that mindset because that's incredibly unrealistic. The other thing is that I feel a little bit bad doing this, but my plan isn't to actually buy a dress. <laughs> so... It sounds really bad, but my auntie down in Melbourne is actually a very, very talented dressmaker and she made my cousin's wedding dress back in 2018 and it was absolutely beautiful. So I am hoping that I am going to get her to make the wedding dress of my dreams. So obviously to know what the wedding dress of my dreams is, I actually have to go and like try on different dresses because until I put something on my body, I don't actually know if I like it. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is going and trying on all of these dresses and then giving the ones that I really love to my auntie and saying, please design this for me. Which, yeah, I feel like it's a little bit like rude of me going to all these dress places and like pretending like I'm interested in their dresses when really I'm not. I'm just getting a feel for what I like on my body. But I also don't really see any other way around it. Like if I'm gonna get my auntie to make my dress, how else am I going to know what I like unless I go and try stuff on? So yeah, I feel a little bit rude doing it, but it would just mean a lot to me to have my auntie make my wedding dress for me. And then it also means that it's literally like a one of a kind dress. Like no one else in the world will ever have the same, the exact same wedding dress as me. And that's really special. So that's kind of the plan. I've got my mum and one of my best friends Kayla coming with me. My mum obviously for obvious reasons. Um, I think it's very exciting for her because I'm an only child and I'm obviously their only daughter. So this is very exciting for mum to be able to come along and experience this whole journey with me. And I'm really excited to have her there as well. And then my best friend Kayla is going to be one of my bridesmaids which I mentioned in my last vlog I haven't officially asked my bridesmaids yet but Kayla already knows. <laughs> I haven't officially asked her but she already knows so I will still be doing like the big gift for her and like making it official but for now just because I have like these bridal appointments and stuff she's gonna come along with me and help me choose. She's got like amazing style and I feel like her and I are very similar with our style so she'll be really really helpful. She'll also just be like honest with me as well. I don't think she's scared to say like oh I don't think this style really suits you blah 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 and that's what I need. So yeah super exciting. I need to leave really really soon because I'm picking Kayla and my mum up on the way and I also want to make a stop at the flower markets to pick up some pampas grass. Pompous grass, I don't know how you say it, but yeah, so I'm in a hurry. So I'm gonna stop vlogging now and get right into my makeup and then I will catch up with you guys soon. All right, so I've just like propped you guys up with some blue tack on the dash of my car as a tripod. It seems to be working so far. Hopefully you guys don't fall over, but probably one of the 
better creative tripods I've ever come up with. But anyways, I wanted to quickly come on here and tell you guys where I'm going today because I didn't mention that before. Um, so I've booked in with a bridal shop called Ella Moda. They're in Milton in Brisbane. Um, the other four or five shops that I've actually booked in with are on the Gold Coast. So this is the only Brisbane based bridal shop that I'm going to. But I think they specialize in more like couture type stuff. So I think they do a lot of like custom designs and like make your dream dress for you. But they do have their own dresses obviously in store that you can try on. And I guess from there that's where you can say to them that you want like a different skirt or a different like neckline or whatever. So yeah, I literally have no idea what to expect. I think I'm probably going to try on about five or six dresses today. Obviously, I'm not going to give you guys too much information about like the dresses that I like and what I'm leaning towards because I obviously want that to be like a huge surprise on the day of my wedding. I don't want to give too much away. But for memory's sake and to just like bring you guys along on the journey with me, I do want to vlog little bits like this. So hopefully, hopefully they let me vlog in there. I have heard that some bridal shops don't like you vlogging or like taking photos or anything like that. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but who knows? We'll see. We will see. If I can't take my vlogging camera in, Kayla or my mum might be able to get some like little photos or like video snippets on their phones. We'll see. We might try and be a bit sneaky depending on how strict they are. All right, so I've just picked up mum. Here she is. And Kayla's on this side. We're just going to the Brisbane flower markets quickly to get the pampas grass that I mentioned to you guys. Hopefully they still have some. Oh yeah, they do. I can see it already. Amazing. All right, this is the pampas grass here that I got last week. Except last week I got it for $8 a stem and I think they're selling it for $15 a stem now. Damn it. It is really nice though. Okay, so no luck with the pampas grass. It turns out that last week I got it for $8 per stem completely by accident because the lady that was working put up the wrong price for it so it is actually supposed to be $15 per stem and I just don't really want to pay that right now so we're gonna try a different is it a flower shop mm -hmm. he said mom said that there's another flower shop like five minutes down the road so we're gonna try that out and see if I can find any all right we had no luck with the pampas grass every other flower shop that we went to was closed I think a lot of the businesses have been like pretty badly affected with coronavirus so um, yeah didn't get any but we've arrived at the bridal shop location we're just super early so I think we're gonna get a coffee to kill some time before we have to go in um, and I have a feeling they're not gonna let me vlog but Kayla was just saying that she might try and get some sneaky footage for me so we'll see how we go we'll see if we can make it work um, I'm not hopeful though. <laughs> You 
know all the ways I like it If I know if you're my self, you're my east, you're my west When you see me at my worst, try to make me feel my best This love we just can't deny it You know all the ways I like it You holding me tangled up in these sheets Holding you, holding me easy love Tangled up in these sheets Holding you, holding me Easy love Like a drive in the sun Windows down, music on We've got nothing but time Feel the breeze in my head Baby, we be cruising Oh, 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 na 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 We're in the car, we've finished. I don't know how much footage Kayla got. Did you get a lot? <laughs> yeah, a bit. I just don't know how good it is. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be better than nothing. They were so nice. They let us take photos, they let me vlog. She didn't care at all, hey? Like, mm. she was really chill. She even said to us, like, she doesn't even understand why other places don't let you take photos. So I was really happy with that. And I think I tried on like 10 dresses in the hour. Like I got through it. We tried on a lot of stuff and I've managed to eliminate things. Like there was some style of dresses that I wanted to try on because I liked how they looked on other people. But then when I saw them on me, I was like, no. So I've eliminated a few different things. I'm narrowing, what do, what do you call it? I'm narrowing my Selection. selection which is good I still have five other bridal shops to go to in the next couple of weeks though so we'll see how they go but I've now dropped mum off back home and Kayla and I are gonna go out for lunch somewhere because we are starving we had like a little donut well, I shouldn't say little it wasn't little <laughs> we had a huge donut and a coffee um, before we went into the bridal shop but I, that's literally all I've eaten today, so I'm starving. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some lunch and then head home. Back home now and Ben and I are gonna go up to Bunnings quickly because I need to get some pots for some of my plants. What are you doing? Yeah, this what talking to someone. No, it's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Ben's standing right behind the viewfinder. Um, I need to get some pots for some of my plants because I need to repot them. Um, I actually I just realized I haven't shown you guys on my um, vlog channel, but I've been repotting and propagating some of my indoor plants and I repotted one of my fiddle leaf figs the other day and I've now realized that I didn't do a very good job repotting it and I need to repot it again so yeah I ran out of soil and stuff like that I need to go and get some more plastic pots so that they've got drainage holes and all of that jazz so that's what we're going to do now is go to Bunnings and once I come home I'll like show you the plants and show you exactly what I'm doing but for now these are the little babies that I have propagated. So this Monstera has been going for just over a month now and it's got some good little roots there. So that should hopefully be really, really healthy and grow into a beautiful plant. It's really hard to show you guys, sorry, because the window is right behind it. That's a little bit better, but yeah, these leaves are really big and lush. So hopefully once the roots grow a bit more, I can plant them and that will be a really, really good healthy plant. And then I've got another Monstera cutting over here, which is only new. I only cut this the other day. So this is going to have a while to go before it grows some roots, but hopefully that one will do well. And then these here are my devil's ivy plants that I'm trying to propagate. So these two here are brand new. I only cut those yesterday, but this one here has been going for about five or six weeks now and it's got a nice little root growing. So I feel like this should be ready to pot in another maybe month or so. And then these ones will probably take about two months. Sorry if you can see the gross 
weeds and stuff behind our house. This is like the back path of our house. It's not even really a path, but it's just full of weeds. So anyways, they're my little propagated plants. And then you guys know how I went to the flower markets to try and find some like, campus grass. Are you trying? You are trying to make as much noise as possible. Um, I didn't tell you this, Ben. I went to the flower markets to get some more of this pampas grass. Yeah. And you know how I got it for $8 per stem? Yeah. They're now selling it for $15 per stem. And I went and asked. I was like, I got this for $8 per stem last week. And she was like, yeah, the lady that was here working, she sold it for less than wholesale price. <laughs> so I got a really good deal last week. But anyways, this is my pampas grass. I got four stems last weekend and I'm really, really annoyed that I didn't get more because obviously it looks a bit funny in this massive pot. And now if I want more, I have to pay $15 per stem. So I really should have stocked up last week while it was basically half price, but I just didn't know that it was half price. But anyways, I got this vase from an op shop. It was originally like a grayish color. So I've spray painted it white. And then yeah, hopefully I can find some more pampas grass soon to fill it out. You've just got so many pats from one of the guys that works here, didn't you, Cube? Yeah, he loved you. Lucky boy. But what? Oh really? Did he call you a girl? Did he call you a girl? That's not very nice. All right, one of you guys actually recommended that I get this for my indoor plants. And apparently you just spray it into the water, um, especially for the ones that I'm propagating. So I'm going to get this. It's only $7 and I'll try it out. Excuse me. Please don't sniff that. It's probably not good for you. And next up, I just need to find some plastic pots so that I can repot my plants in and I need specific pots so that there's like the right drainage because I watched a video the other day on fiddle leaf figs and apparently if they don't have drainage they can die and that's the problem that I think I have because I repotted one of my fiddle leaves into a pot the other day that does not have holes so I need to fix that quick smart otherwise I'm going to kill another one of my fiddle leaves <laughs> Keith is in his element right now you can smell all the blood and bone Oh, those sniffers are working. Overtime, Coop. Does that smell good? <laughs> are we in your favorite section? <laughs> Got the goods. morning guys so it is now Sunday it's the next day I didn't vlog anything else yesterday afternoon because by the time we actually got home from Bunnings it was pretty much dark I always forget how dark it gets in winter so we basically ran out of day so I didn't do anything with the plants or anything like that but they are on the agenda for today Ben just got home from surfing he always goes surfing in the mornings on weekends also sorry about the autofocus this camera is my new camera. It's a new Canon G7X Mark III. And the autofocus is driving me insane. I need to watch some videos and have a play around with the settings because I don't know what's going on, but sorry about that. Anyways, we are about to head up to Kmart because we want to grab some glasses for... Yeah, Ben bought a new skateboard. So that's what I'm showing them. Do you want to give them a review? Demo? Oh. Anyways, we're going to Kmart to get some new glasses. We want to get some like martini. Stop, it was so annoying. We're going to get some martini glasses and we might need to get some more wine glasses for the party as well. We've got plastic Oh yeah, I bought them from Costco. Anyways, we, need just, we just need to get a few things from Kmart. So we're going to do that and then we'll come back and I'm hoping that Ben will help me repot these plants because it's definitely a two-man job I can't do it by myself so hopefully we can convince him to help me by the way guys I wanted to let you know that Ben will not be watching any vlogs or looking at any photos or anything like that to do with wedding dresses I told him that he can if he wants to but I think he 
is choosing not to anyway because obviously the dress that I'm going to end up with is going to be like my own kind of design it's not going to be any of the dresses that I am specifically trying on like there's always going to be something that's different about it so I don't really care if he does look but I don't think he wants to anyway so he's not going to be watching the vlogs or anything slightly related to it. I just thought I'd clear that up because some people will probably be a bit confused about like the whole wedding dress thing is supposed to be like a secret um, and the groom isn't supposed to see that side of things, but I wanna share it with you guys. So yeah, Ben's just being restricted from any of that kind of content. That was the most unsuccessful shopping trip. This bloody camera. Um, so we- new camera, what's wrong? I need to change the settings because the autofocus is all messed up. Um, yeah, that was not a successful shopping trip at all. The one thing we went for, we could not find anywhere. We wanted martini glasses and they apparently have them in Kmart. Actually, not Kmart. They have them in Target, but they didn't have anything in stock. And we went into like four or five other stores that are supposed to stock them as well. But I guess martini glasses are just really, really popular. But we ended up getting some really exciting stuff feather dusters because we need these we've been wanting these for so so long we've got like i don't know if you'll be able to see but up there in the corner of like the kitchen ceiling it gets so dusty up there but we've got nothing to be able to like reach it and get there and then on the top of all of our fans as well so much dust so finally my house can be clean properly clean so we got some feather dusters i got two and of course they had to be pink and then we stopped up on some tongs because we had two pairs. They both broke within like a week of each other. So Kmart have these for like $1.50. So we got some more. And then we got a random birds toy because we are going to Ben's parents this afternoon. And I don't know if you guys remember, this is like going way back, but Ben and I actually have three parrots. They don't live with us anymore. We kept them at Ben's parents' house because they live on like a massive property. We got them like a custom Avery built and everything so they can like fly around in the Avery and stuff. But we went into like this cheap little dollar store and birds toys are usually really expensive, but this was quite cheap. So we're gonna go and surprise them with a new toy this afternoon when we visit his parents. But yeah, that's my little shopping trip. That was such a fail and we're still on the hunt for martini glasses. I've just really quickly made myself some lunch. Looks super random, but trying to be as healthy as possible. I've got some falafels, lettuce, raw broccoli, green capsicum, olives, got some green beans under there and some carrot and then just some mustard to dip in it. So hopefully this will fill me up. I actually am really enjoying like raw veggies at the moment. I don't like to cook them. I feel like raw broccoli is actually a lot sweeter than cooked broccoli and I like the fact that it's crunchy. I don't know. Is that weird? Maybe it is, but this is what I'm having for lunch. All right, so I've just brought all my plants outside. These are the ones that I'm gonna repot. I actually asked you guys about these ones on Instagram last week because I was not sure at all what kind of plants they were. They were gifted to us from a friend's mum. So I think I'm going to repot these into like slightly bigger white pots just so that they have a bit more room to grow and they're a little bit taller as well. So hopefully these can like grow out longer and stuff because I feel like these pots here are too small for them. I'm also going to repot this. I potted this last weekend but I was silly and didn't put it into a plastic pot so it doesn't have any drainage. So I'm going to repot it again and put it into a plastic pot and then put it like sit that plastic pot back in here. This Monstera here I'm going to pot into like a much much bigger pot and put it in this standing gray pot here. So hopefully that will give it some room to flourish because this grows like crazy. Like it's got two new leaves already at the moment. These top leaves aren't very healthy at all. I'm not too sure what's going on with them. I don't know if I should just take them off the plant entirely. If any of you guys know what would have caused this because I seriously have no idea, please let me know. So these are the only two. The rest of this plant is like super, super healthy. Like these leaves are beautiful. So I'm not really sure what's happened there, but anyways, I'm gonna repot this into here with a plastic pot inside. And then this fiddle leaf fig here, I feel like desperately, desperately needs a bigger pot. The leaves look so sad and droopy. And then what's in here is my really, really sad fiddle leaf that barely has any 
leaves on it. So somehow this still is alive and it is growing, but the pot that it's in is just massive. As you can see, the stems are like all the way over to this side. So I'm gonna try and put these into a smaller pot and try and get them growing nice and big and healthy again. I feel like that sounds super complicated. <laughs> And honestly, I still need to wrap my head around like what's going in what pot and stuff. But I wrote down a list yesterday of what I need to get from Bunnings. And I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. We also stocked up on a whole bunch of soil. So that was our issue last time is we ran out of soil and I couldn't keep potting the stuff that I needed to. So hopefully now we have enough stuff and we can get it all done. plants in their new pots so they're a little bit taller and a little bit bigger they look a little bit sad at the moment but I'm hoping that now that we've given them a water and they're near the light again they'll go back to life fingers crossed and then this is the fiddle leaf here that we fixed up so we've put it in a plastic pot now so that it can actually drain better inside the white ceramic pot and then the monstera is now in this big pot on the stand so hopefully that will grow nice and big and healthy apparently these leaves are supposed to get like really really big eventually obviously once it's like fully grown so yeah hopefully i don't know about these ones but hopefully it grows really well now that it's in a bigger pot i've actually this is the plant that i've taken some cuttings from as well so even though these aren't looking great the rest of them are looking really good so i don't know if you guys have any tips for how to fix this whether i should just take these off the plant altogether whatever i should do please let me know and then i've got my other fiddle leaf fig here in my beauty room so this window here gets really really good light during the day so i've repotted this one into a much bigger pot it's looking a little bit sad at the moment but now that it's in the bigger pot and it's going to get some good light in here it'll be interesting to see in a few days whether these leaves are all like lifted up and happy again fingers crossed that's what I'm hoping for but I'll keep it in this room for now just because I feel like this is one of the rooms in my house that actually does get decent lighting hopefully I haven't just messed up everything by like repotting it all and playing around with everything I've tried watching a bunch of videos I'm still very much a beginner I've watched a bunch of videos taken lots of tips and tricks from you guys so fingers crossed I'll keep you updated. But anyways Ben and I are going to head to his parents house now so I'm going to end the vlog here Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. My first proper like wedding series bridal vlog. As I said, I've got a bunch more bridal appointments to go to. So if you guys want me to vlog those as well, I don't know if that's like too much or whether you guys do want to see it, please let me know in the comments because I'm obviously more than happy to bring you along on as much of the journey as you guys want to see. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.